This is not the bougie way of making the baked potato. So if you're looking for the bougie way, this is what we all be doing. Yeah. It's, it's chop. Oh, it's so easy. I'm, I'm slick learning too. This is my this is my first time really cutting garlic, y'all. I can't even lie. What's up? It's your girl Kelly. Today I'm cooking a loaded shrimp baked potato. I'm making a, a potato, a baked potato, because I've been trying to get thick. Okay. So we're gonna start off by poking the holes in the potatoes. Man, it's a little hard. Oh, I'm trying to get in there. We don't want the potato to be hard in the center, so we gotta really get in there. I think we, I think that's enough holes. Ooh, gotta put some muscle in it. Sheesh. I said thick, not swole. I was inspired to make this dish because I be on the go all the time. And I be forgetting to eat. You know, you could do this real fast if you just leaving the house real quick. You want you a good gourmet meal fast. I'm gonna wrap the potato in the plastic wrap. Yeah, like this. Just, just, you know, just stick it all like that together. Yeah, we got some bacon. Guess we gonna use the bacon. Microwave got the little potato set in. So we gonna use that. Let's see. Um, oops, cancel. Don't cancel that. Oh, we got two potatoes. So we gonna let that cook in there. And now let's get started with the shrimp. Ooh, we got the big, the big juicy shrimp. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now we gonna season the shrimp. Up nice and good, so we're gonna use black pepper. Okay, black pepper, we're gonna throw that in there. Just sprinkle it. I like my stuff seasoned, so we're gonna use most of this seasoning. Okay, then we're gonna put a little pinch of salt in there. Some more, some garlic herb seasoning. We got a little lemon, lemon, some lemon in there. And we just gonna mix that in together, just like that, just like that. We gonna mix that together so every all the shrimps is nice and seasoned. I'm um, finna get turn the oven. I mean, the stove on. I'm acting like I can't cook. All right. We gonna put it on medium heat. We gonna put the butter in the pan with the oil so the shrimp can cook nice and nice and easy and fast. Throw that in now. Let that melt. Just eyeball it. I really be eyeballing everything. We gonna eyeball the oil too, cause yeah, that's what we gonna do. I ain't never been good at cutting garlic. So y'all just, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> What's at the bottom? I thought it was like an onion. You see, that's what I'm saying. I always get the garlic that's already mixed. You know what I'm saying? Oh. oh. I learned something new today. See my manager back here telling me what to do. Like I don't know how to cook. She tried me like I don't know how to cook. And our butter is melted in the pan. We is making perfect timing, okay? I think that's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Oh, shit, that shit hot. Why is you laughing at me? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, nice and steamy. I normally cook for myself. See, it's ready, the pan is ready. You gonna hear that. Yeah, it's ready to go. So now we gonna throw the shrimp up in there. Gonna throw the shrimp up in the pan. Yeah. I like how that smell. Good. <laughs> I normally cook for myself, and I don't have anyone in here telling me what to do. But, here's my hands off. That's not the case today. Now that we're letting that cook in there for about 
four minutes, cause shrimp don't take that long to cook. We gon', we just gonna cut a, um, a nice little line down the middle of the potato. I'm gonna add the um, oil to the potato, just a little drizzle, you know. Then we're gonna add some salt and pepper to the um, to the baked potato. Just a little bit, a good little amount. And we're gonna throw that in the oven, just like that. So line down the middle. We're gonna throw that in the oven. We got the oven on 400. We're gonna put that in there for about 10 minutes. Now, I'm gonna cut the rest of this black garlic up and we're gonna add the garlic into the into the shrimp. I don't need all you don't need all this black, all this black garlic, because I really, I really don't know nothing about that. It's not like regular garlic. It ain't cutting like regular garlic at least. Yeah. This is my first time using black garlic, so bear with me. Now I'm gonna add um the white garlic into the pan with the shrimp. I'm gonna add as much as I, I cut in there. And I'm gonna add some of the, just a little bit of the black garlic. It smells good. I'm gonna mix that in. Um, when I first started cooking, I was about eight, honestly, because my mama always left us at the house. <laughs> Me and my brother. My mom always left us at the house, so we had to, you know, had to learn how to cook for ourselves. She had to go to work. She was a hardworking mom, you know, single mom. And yeah, I was, I had dinner ready for her when she was coming home from work. It's looking like the shrimp is done. So we gonna turn this off and we gonna set this shrimp to the side. Yeah. I look good. Don't play with me, okay? All right, now we're gonna start cutting our green onions, okay? Uh, then we're gonna cut the green onions real small. Bye. My mom taught me how to cook, honestly, just by just watching, just hovering as a little girl. All right, we got the, everything is, looks pretty good. We're gonna check on them baked potatoes now. Oven. We're gonna grab our potato. Place our potato right here. Bust that thing open. Ooh, oh, I busted open too much. It busted open. Uh -uh. It busts open too much. Oh well. We're gonna put our butter in there. Just eyeball it once again. Dang, it's everywhere, y'all. My plate don't ever be looking fancy and extra and extra neat, so. Don't mind me. Then, we're gonna add some salt and pepper again. We're gonna add some cheese on there. Some good, nice and, some good cheese. It's just a little, little quick snack. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna try to put that together so the cheese can melt a little bit like that. Yeah. Do you like that? <laughs> Now we wait for that cheese to melt too. Yeah, that cheese is nice and melted. It's looking crazy, but it's looking good at the same time. Boom. Yeah. Since I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna load it up with shrimp. Lots of shrimp for moi. Yeah. Just some side shrimp too. <laughs> then, we're gonna put our green onions on top of the, sprinkle it on the, you know, just a little bit and add some sour cream. We're gonna add some sour cream up in there. That's a lot of sour cream. I like a lot of sour cream. We're gonna, I'm gonna add mine to the side by the potato. I don't wanna put it all over the shrimp. Yeah. Then just for the sake, I'm gonna add me some more. Cause I, I just like salt and pepper. That's just me. And I 
think we're about done with our potato. Just like that. I know y'all know that look good. Don't it look good? Yeah, that shrimp is blessing. The plate need to be cleaned a little bit around there, but nice and simple. Loaded shrimp, baked potato. We got the fork. Let's taste the shrimp first. Yeah, Big Kelly. Shrimp busting. Mm-hmm. That black garlic, it did what it was supposed to do. I'll be using that more often. Definitely. Now let's get a bite with everything in there. We got the potato, the shrimp. I'm really greedy. I'm gonna take this whole bite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We ain't, we ain't do the cooking part perfectly, but we, we executed. Task complete. Mm. <laughs> Thank y'all for cooking with your girl, Kelly, on Cooked in Five, as we make this delicious loaded shrimp baked potato. It's tasting like, mm-hmm.